you know, what's really the dark force out there that's behind this or where it originates? You know, that is such an incredibly complex question, but I think in in terms of just trying to sum it up, because I know that in the beginning stages before my training with the Guardian Forces of seeing some of the things that were happening on this planet, um, which I consider crimes against humanity, you know, I didn't believe in a quote unquote satanic figure either in my in my earlier years until I was taken and shown things uh multidimensionally through remote viewing or sleep state which were were absolutely mind boggling to really try and get a grasp of how this infection has come to planet Earth. The way that I would describe it is that this planet uh, you know, obviously is a part of a construction in the mechanics of creation that was built within a polarity of form. So there's nothing wrong with polarity. And there's, of course, really nothing, there's nothing in terms of a judgment that is cast between dark and light. What happened to this planet, though, however, is that a disconnection from the source light or the perpetual supply of source that could power this reality became so destructive to the life forms on this particular planet that annihilation and genetic destruction was the probability. And this is why a lot of people, you know, through the Nostradamus prophecies and the cataclysm prophecies of the Armageddon, these were all probable timelines that were actually in the time field as probable realities. A part of why starseeds have come to this planet is to override and to circumvent those timelines. So a lot of people don't understand that timelines can be circumvented by our own consciousness, choice, and participation with those time fields. What the negative aliens don't want us to know is that we can participate with that. They want us to believe that it's God's wrath of Armageddon or Satan's rule or whatever it may be so that we're scared and we're in fear and we feel powerless little humans that can't do anything. And that's all, again, a part of that superior and elitist attitude that these Orion groups and other beings have. So it's like saying, you know, bullies in the universe took advantage of a particular planet that was in a younger stage of development attempting to incorporate higher DNA strands from other experiments in consciousness that didn't go too well, meaning that there had been destruction, there had been damage, and there had been explosions that had harmed or destroyed certain levels of creation in the field. And there were beings that said, you know, I'm not going to let those beings that were destroyed be forgotten. We're not going to just completely decimate it and turn it into consciousness units that can be assimilated you know, into the substance of source, we want to protect those genetic histories and materials for those beloved beings that have lost their histories. And that's what the guardian forces and and this this, um, return to Christ coming to the planet Earth is really about, is the reclamation of our history that is galactic, meaning human beings are from the stars, These were beings that are entities that actually uh, took advantage of this planet because they saw that the beings here were not aware of sacred spiritual sciences, that the beings on planet didn't know necessarily how to protect the stargates that were opening into other dimensions, and they basically massacred all the beings that did know how to do that when we know the indigenous peoples, the aborigines, and the many, of course, indigenous cultures that have been decimated by white Aryan forces from, you know, the East or from Europe, you know, this was all purpose to kill those beings that held sacred knowledge in themselves that knew how to open stargates, that knew how to connect with nature, that knew how to connect with the planetary brain and communicate with the elementals and forces of nature. Because humanity here was originally built as a guardian of the planet and naturally to protect, again, the resources of this planet, to protect the life forms of this planet. So they basically came in and there were stages of that particular invasion of planet. And it's basically, you know, a conquering mentality, divide and conquer and take it over. You know, there is a saying, you know, he who conquers, you know, writes the history. And that's exactly what's happened here. We have been told a history of 
falsity for 5,000 years because 5,000 years ago is when the final foothold of the negative alien control of the stargates and the planetary brain occurred. We started reverse scrambling our DNA at that time so that we would be disconnected from the earth and disconnected from our truth and then simultaneously started massacring anybody on the planet that had access to that truth or was hiding that truth in some way because again many of us i'm sure even listening to this can have memories of you know the persecution complex we may be attempting to get over in ourselves because we many light workers and light beings have been murdered and massacred for many eons of time attempting to hold that truth for this planet so it wouldn't die on planet earth and that of course was a part of the negative alien agenda in their control mechanism to create slaves and automatons that do their bidding that we would not remember these aspects of ourselves. So they basically took that history away and tried to destroy it, not only in the physical material world, but in the consciousness fields, which is the actual multidimensional blueprints of this planet that exist in consciousness layers. They cannot destroy the instruction sets, and that's why the guardians, beings like myself, are here to read those instruction sets and follow those instruction sets and find those levels of blueprint and code and frequency and history and bring it back into the physicalization of our planet because it's a part of the human race that needs to be reclaimed and returned to the rightful owner. And that's really what I call this timeline of, of sovereignty is really the return to rightful owner, that which belongs as the inherent divinity of each being is being returned as a promise of God, which is, again, the covenant of the crystal or Christ consciousness returning to our planet.